All the way back to the hotel, thousands cheered England's victorious winners of the World Cup. Wives, mothers and sweethearts rode with them. If ever a fairy tale had come true, this was it. At the Royal Garden Hotel, the crowd was thicker than ever. Never in England have players been hero-worshipped on this scale. The team simply had to come out on the balcony where they threw flowers, very much cherished by the lucky few that caught them. Solid Gold Cup was there. To Pathé News headquarters, the Wondermen of Soccer came to see the film of the final. That gallant sportsman, Eusebio, was among the guests. Less than 18 hours ago, these men were playing extra time in the game they'll never forget. Their great manager, modest looking as ever. FIFA president, Sir Stanley Rouse. Man of the match, hat-trick scorer, Jeff Hurst. As they had every right to be, the players were the first people to see the film. To see themselves as others see them, perhaps for the first time, and feel the tense excitement they gave to millions. Sir Stanley, Sports Minister Dennis Howell, and Dennis Follows. With the manager, Jeff Hurst and that Prince of Goalkeepers, Gordon Banks. Alf Ramsey with the skipper, Bobby Moore. What must Jackie Charlton have felt seeing himself as he was in the previous afternoon at the peak of his triumph? That goes for Nobby Styles and all the rest on the morning after the day before. <laughs>